first off, listen to this title screen music. This music is absolutely beautiful. Hi everybody, and welcome to my Let's Play of Tales of Hysteria. I think it's Hysteria. I'm not exactly sure on how the name is set yet. I'll figure it out. This is beautiful music. This is just the title screen. I've been waiting for this game for so long and I am so excited to finally have it. I was staring at my case for like 30 minutes before I even opened it. This is gonna be fun. Alright, so I guess we should get started. Space Battle Difficulty. I'm gonna put it on moderate or on hard. I think I'm going to go with moderate for now. Tails, you can change these difficulties anytime. I know by the end of the game I want it on the hardest difficulty setting possible. Choosing out of time available to input in normal attacks and audio attack commands during battle. Um, This changes the amount of time available to input normal normal and arty attack commands during battle. I'm not really sure how these affect the game. I've never seen this setting before. I'm going to keep it on its normal because it's the normal. I like having subtitles. Because, you know, sometimes you can't really play the music. Special for the menu opening with R2 and shortcut. Okay, this I don't want. Fixed. Set with the mini map on the other left panel has a fixed oriented or rotates with the camera. The default right now is, is, is fixed. You, camera rotation speed. You can change the turning of the camera that is controlled with. I'm pretty sure that's the R, but I can't really see with this TV. Okay, the rest of this is. I like the vibration. Battle control configuration. Change the volume configuration battles. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna go with the default of those. I like this, uh, the description. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go like this. Alright, let's go. I am so excited to start playing this. I have no idea. The Tail series is just so great. The Legend of the Shepherds. In a bygone age of myths, when darkness threatened to enshroud the world, it was they who reclaimed light from nothingness. Over and over, as the world plunged into chaos, the legend would come to people's lips, and they would pray for salvation. And lo, each time a shepherd would appear to vanquish the darkness once more. But with peace returned, it was never long before the shepherds would vanish. As for where they had gone, no one can truly say. And, as with all things, eventually they faded into legend. again, the world faced the threat of the darkness. Oh. 
And the people began to speak of the shepherds once more. But alas, no shepherd came forth to guide his people to peace. Oh, controls. I was right. It was the right stick. I can adjust the camera and everything now. Okay. Um, walk and cancel. Okay, that's obvious. Trying to open menu. Confirm. Okay, this is pretty much the same controls as some of the other ones. Show objectives. Reset camera. Display aerial map. Area map. No, not aerial. Just ignore me. Hey. Oh, hey! I'm getting a little eclipse. It's probably because of my other save data. This is cool. What's over here? Knew it! A hero brandishing the sacred blade. This mural is a depiction of the shepherd. <laughs> About time I found it. Nothing on my end, Soray. Miklio, looks like you beat me this time. <laughs> this proves the shepherds have been around since even before the era of Asgard. I knew it. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We still don't have definitive proof that this ruin itself is pre-Asgard. It could be an imitation. Seriously? You really think they'd make a fake ruin of this scale? Get real. This doesn't bode well. Wait, isn't that... I think our ruin adventure is over for today. Too close. Could I get a little help, please? Nope, no help. Surging currents. Twin flow. Saray. That didn't go quite how I planned it, but not too shabby, am I right? Guess this makes us even. Unbelievable. Who knew there'd be ruins underground? Oh, good thing we fell down here. Right. Hey, let's try and find a way out of here. Hmm? Oh, yeah.
Better leave the investigation for another time. We need to find a way out of here. Please. I want to look around. Is that like a save point or something? Oh yeah, one thing. I don't ever want to talk during a cutscene. So, that's a good thing. I'm just going to stay quiet during those. Because I like to hear everything myself. And I can't hear anything over my own talking. Yeah, it's safe. And I save frequently. I have a habit of that. I have to save every time I run by a save point. So my apologies if this can get annoying. But you know, I don't like to lose data. But I guess I should work on doing it less frequently in case something goes wrong. The recording. Whoa! Oh man, what a drop! It's been nothing but heights all day. But I had an awesome bar relief to distract me. Yeah, I bet you did. Hmm? It looks like someone's lying there. Hey, Miklio? Hmm? It's... it's a human. It can't be. Stop. We shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. She's still alive. We can't just leave her there. Fine. I'll give what help I can. Let's take a look around the area first. Okay. So cold. What does he mean? He should involve himself. Involve himself. I'm mad about my talking right now. Yeah, my swords all sticky. Kind. Cobwebs everywhere. Is I bet Mickey no one has set foot in here for human? some time. Wait, is Serena not human? Oh, there's nothing over here. It's just more of a straight shot. That's no fun. Okay. What's wrong? Shh. What is this thing? Quit gawking and get your sword ready. Oh, yeah. Perform martial arts with O. When the control mode is set to semi auto, you will run towards your target until you are close enough to attack. You can then create up to a four hit combo with the addition of friends with O. Cross over current new arms with them and up. I'm so used to it being ready. It's over. Go. Go. Wait, hold on. It can't be a hellion. A hellion? For real? I've never seen one in person before. What could a monster like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? It's getting away! Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Uh huh? Hellions? Yep, Hellions. Horrible monsters mm -hmm. that are created by the Malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use. So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can. Remember, you two, common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends. Cut it!
We can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. Then we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? We have to hurry and save that girl! Before something worse finds her! Okay. First off, he had no eyes. He was like eyebrow eyes. <laughs> Almost bust out of laughter. The cutscene. Ooh, a chest! I know what you're just on. Just give me that loot. Ancient earring. Earrings discovered among ruins. Said to endow the. Leader? With an ant. Oh, it's his wearer. I can't see with this TV, as I mentioned earlier. With an enhanced understanding of nature. Sometimes the words. Is that a monolith? Yeah, this. Searching for monoliths. Scattered. Scattered throughout dungeons and in fields are stone monoliths. Or monuments or monoliths. Written by persons unknown that details lost battle teams. After finding one, you can check its teachings at any time. In the battle section of the system book. For each one you find, you will gain AP, which is necessary for steady battle actions. When you find one, press X to investigate it further. It appears to be wisdom pertaining to battles written in an ancient tongue. As you fight more battles, you will level up and require new martial abilities. Charging and piercing arts, up and down, left and right, mobile and area of effect arts. Switching them up is needed depending on how the battle is going. You can view available attacks in the art menu. Actually, I've never even went in the menu. Top menu. Press triangle to open the top menu. Here you can check character HP, the red gauge, initial SC, blue gauge, and choose which characters you join in battle, among other options. On any menu screen, you can press start to view help for that screen. Okay. Items, arts, equipment, support talents, battle actions, fashions, strategy, the library, and the system settings. First, since this is flashing, I'm going to click on this because it's, it's making me curious. You can view the criteria for acquiring an unlearned battle action by highlighting that action in the menu with the cursor. Battle actions marked as auto indicate that an action is performed automatically. This may be useful for players new to the data system who are still figuring out the rules. Once you get the hang of combat, try removing these actions and using your AP for other battle actions. Auto guard? Oh. Oh. I don't want these. There's no way you'll learn these by doing them automatically. Let's be serious. Now what's this? Defend for one or more seconds and the next and the effect potential of your next attack. There's doubles. Cool. Let's use this. Because, you know, that actually sounds useful. I don't want things auto. I don't want things done for me. It's no fun. Let's see what the fashion we got. Yes, Roy. Ray and his default hairstyle. And the hat style. Does it not change? I always hate the hat styles. I really do. I always hate those hat styles. I really do. Because they're just, they're just dumb. Okay, and the attachment. Can I like zoom? No, no. Can I? Can I? Can I not zoom? I can't zoom. There. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, hey, the little Sophie doll. Look at Sophie. Like Sophie. Danger Junior. Jude, my pal. I love Jude. Jude is awesome. Mila. 
I still don't like that one strand of green hair. Alright. Luger! Yeah! Lloyd. Why you gotta sit on my head? Get off me. Alright, let's see the arts. Automatic. Oh, boring. True Fang. Oh, up and down. Cool. So I just press the button, it goes into these. It takes 5cc, 7sc, 11sc, and 10sc. How does it go? What? That makes no sense. You figured it increase, but this one is more than this one. Okay, whatever. True Fang is if you press down in the beginning. But I don't seem to have anything else to go along with it. What's this game supposed to use? Like a uh, title system? What did you say? Ah, support talents. Make snacks to recover HP while on the move. Each character has their own techniques and special abilities. And special. <laughs> and specialties. <laughs> oh, okay. Raise the level to increase the number of item types and preparation speed. Point of interest detection. Detects previously undercovered, undiscovered monologues and discovery points nearby. Raise level to extend range. S set on multiple characters to extend range. Okay. Um. Can you like give? Um. So it's like you can only have one at a time. Characters will prepare snacks for the party at regular intervals. Snacks have fallen characteristics and can only be used outside of battle. Snacks restore HP for all party members. Extra effects on the next battle only. Initial SC recovered by small amount. Okay. So you can only have it set on one at a time. Like, you can only have one set at a time? Maybe that increases later? I don't know. Alright, let's move on. Another chest. Let's go click it. Apple gel. I'm going to try not to use it. Oh, what you doing? Weapons ready! Current! No escape! It's over! Oh. Spirit Chain. Let's see. Spirit Chain is the energy needed to create combos in battle. The maximum SC you can have at any one time is 100. Access such as martial arts will control your SC, and having low SC makes you vulnerable. SC can be replenished by being idle, guarding, or moving around. Keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't drop to zero. Okay. I am so used to um, doing Grace's style, where you have that one number and then you have the TP for Zillia, and I think Grace has just had the, uh, the numbers, and each skill took a certain amount, but you could have up to like 99, and it was like... Ooh, I see a... Uh, Amania. Oh, you thought you were clever. Guarding. Guarding lets you greatly reduce damage inflicted by enemy attacks as well as reduce your chances of being stabbed. For each attack you block, you recover SC, which is necessary to perform combo. Oh, that's awesome. Stun. 
Gundam. Yeah. That's that! Zero point... Oh yeah, I forgot it uses this new gray system. Okay, we know about HP. If you die, you die when it drops to zero. We know this already. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Yeah, I could see it. This really does need to be upgraded. Oh cool. They have to run out of SP as well. So if we just keep guarding, they'll run out. Eventually, but we have to not die. Wow, Shall they just begin? show up out of nowhere. <laughs> That human probably got caught up in all the lightning just like we did. More like the other way around. We have her to thank for all that crash boom bang. That lightning. That was Gramps, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a warning to invaders. Not one more step. <sighs> Sorry, Gramps. I can't just leave someone who needs help. Huh. This is turning into an eventful day for once. Oh, there's another. That was a cool monolith. We've had quite a bounty of discoveries today. If I'm not mistaken, that stone is a lot newer than the surrounding ruins. Yeah, it's from a completely different age. It read like advice of some sort. Most likely it's a guidepost left by previous visitors to aid fellow travelers. So we're not the only ones who go around investigating ruins. Humans have terms for them. Things like adventurer or explorer. Explorers. Gotta save, gotta save, gotta save. I'm glad they still have the skits. I like that it's a full body skit now. I got tired of seeing heads. Yeah, I just said that. I got tired of seeing just heads. Okay, um, well, that's nothing but a giant pitfall. This way, I see stairs. I am so excited for this. Oh, this was real might be a bit too long. Because I gotta explore. I wanna battle some more. Um Ooh, minus attack. Ready? Ready? How's this? Oh, they still have a free run. Awesome. Now, what's in here? Ancient circuit. Increases casting speed of seraphic arts as well as their strength. That seems like an item for Mechneo. Actually, let me see if I can put this to Mechneo. Oh. The skill in the first slot is a preset for each item and skills. If any, there are other three slots that are determined when you acquire the item. You can check which skills you have equipped by opening the skill sheet with R2. Woo! There are two major types of skills outlined on the skill sheet. The basic skills attached to your equipment skill slot and bonus skills activated by certain arrangements of basic skills. There are three methods of activating bonus skills. Creating by created by equipping multiple copies of the same basic skill. The number indicates how many of that skill is equipped. 
Equip two or more to activate a bonus skill. Elemental Union. Creating, created by equipping skills directly adjacent to each other on the left or right. Why no, two or more to activate oh, oh. a bonus a bonus skill. Group Union. Created by equipping a vertical, a vertical column of skills in one group. Line up all five skills in a group to activate a bonus skill. It's perfectly fine to select equipment based on its parameters, but by combining different skills, you may discover surprisingly effective interactions. Take a little time to try out different types of skills and find the ones best suited to your playstyle. What do we have right now? Defense plus 4, HP recovery while defending plus 10, uh, focus plus 4. Mechleo has a has kind of the kind of build I like. Equipment proficiency. You can increase your proficiency in a equipable item by equipping an item and then accumulating victories in battle. Your proficiency, oh, I keep messing that word up, and any one item can rise to a maximum level of five. Seek glory in battle by equipping your favorite and not so favorite items. Okay. What's the difference here? It adds focus plus four percent. So, I'm going to equip this. Stats. These are bonus skills af activated, <laughs> almost affected, by equipping multiple instances of the same basic skill. The more you equip, the more varied the final effect. Without revealing too much, equipping as many of the same item equipped. Oh, hey, I got a trophy. Equipping as many of the same skill as you can leads to extra ex <laughs> extraordinary, extraordinary results. They truly impact the outcome of battle. See for yourself just how many you can equip. I would love to. Oh, those are the titles? Oh, that's cool. Did get a new earring earrings from earlier? Is there any difference in these? No. 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 I'm gonna just have a star on it. I don't know what it means. Okay, um let's move forward. So I'm gonna bet there's something waiting for us. What's this? Whoa! What the? I'll be taking this. If you get too hung up on fiddling with it, we'll never get out of here. I'll give it back once we return safely. Uh, <laughs> if you say so. Well, I want to watch that back. What's over here? Lavender. Cool. Okay, so what I was saying was... So close, but it's still so far. Think we could jump? Only one way to find out. Mikleo kind of has the kind of setup right now that I like. Which is the, um... Defensive. The lower your CSC, the higher the damage you inflict. But this is generally not recommended. SC recovery rate is proportionate to your SC level, so low SC means slower recovery. Fighting while maintaining high SC is more effective than attacking until it completely runs out. Of course, there are times when going all out is worth it, like when enemies are stunned. What's important is to balance your approach. I didn't know that. I would figure that you would get weaker as SC would go on. Well? Okay, maybe not. Hey, watch out! Don't scare me like that. Sorry about that. I guess we can't make a jump. Well, we definitely can't make it from here. There should be a connecting point somewhere. Let's go back and see what we can find. Yeah, exploring! Actually, let me go back this way, see if there's anything here. Huh. You don't suppose? Huh? There. Take a look. Hmm? Go 
on, look closer. Come on, we don't have time for this. Let's cut the fun and games, all right? Oh, then let me explain. As you see... Ugh, forget it. Let's just go back down there. <laughs> you never could handle losing. What is it? Am I supposed to be going back down to the first floor? Or something like that? It's worth a shot, I guess. 36. Um, this way. Okay, you know what? I think this will do it for episode one. I'm going to pick up right here in episode two. So, stay tuned for that. Okay, so I will see you guys.